The largest known terrestrial floods are due to glaciation. One example can be found in the northwestern United States. About 15,000 years ago, a lobe of the retreating Cordilleran ice sheet blocked meltwater, thus creating Glacial Lake Missoula. When the ice dam failed, flood water eroded what became to be known as the Channel Scablands in Washington State. This high energy mega flood had flow speeds reaching 30 meters per second and depths up to 100 meters. The resulting cavitation number of around two can be replicated in the laboratory. Cavitation erosion in large floods is thought to be mainly due to vortex cavitation. It can be created on the tip of an elliptical hydrofoil at moderate angle of attack. Note that as we increase velocity or reduce cavitation number, sheet cavitation also occurs. The cavitating vortex rotates at 150,000 RPM and can do great damage when collapsing onto a surface. It has fittingly been described as an underwater tornado. A cylinder was put in the water tunnel to simulate the vertical shear layer created by the lake outflow gap or any large obstacle the flood would have encountered on its way. While obscured in the regular video, we can clearly see the cavitating vertical vortices in the strobe illuminated photographs. Note that as soon as the pressure recovery in the wake of the cylinder brings the vortex core pressure above vapor pressure, vaporous cavitation suddenly disappears. The cylinder was mounted on a sheet prepared with a special paint which can show qualitatively where significant cavitation erosion will occur. The resulting pattern correlates well with observed cavitating vortices. Using high-speed video we are able to capture the elusive underwater tornadoes. Finally, we subjected rock specimen to an ASTM vibratory apparatus. A horn oscillating vertically at 20 kHz produces a periodic pressure field which induces the growth and collapse of a cloud of cavitation bubbles, thus eroding the material placed beneath. While it takes some time to erode the basalt prevalent in the scab lands, the effect cavitation has on the softer St. Petersburg sandstone is quite dramatic. Under the right conditions, cavitation will contribute to erosion during cataclysmic floods.